Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, we talk about like benzos withdrawal, life during benzos, just the whole shebang, um, day to day, how it how it's like, um, dealing with life and stress and family and everything. Um, kind of share some things just personally going on um, in my life and coping with the the benzo withdrawal um so i kind of just share everything um so thank you guys so much for praying for my my cat um he he was a big part of our family um he was like around seven or eight we adopted him from a friend and just fell in love with him he he was the sweetest thing um he would lay on his back and let his belly show and then you'd kiss his belly. He didn't care. He just trusted us. So um, he passed away yesterday. Um, we took him to the vet and uh, he, he wasn't doing much. He was just kind of like limp when we took him. So um, they kind of, I don't know if he was just waiting to, to leave the house because, you know, animals kind of have a sixth sense for things and he passed away on the table at the vet and and then they took him in the back and we started talking about what to do next and they brought him back in and they said he came back he probably just wanted to say goodbye so it was pretty crazy i mean they pronounced him they checked his heart he didn't have one they pronounced him and took him in the back and then they bring him back and he moves his head around and it was a shock so, um, they had given him some medicine for anxiety and, and to kind of help with the process because it, it was going to happen. So we stayed in there and uh, said goodbye and everything. Um, I know that this whole thing is so hard when you lose an animal, especially one that you're super close with like he slept with us when we would eat we would give him food um just everything like we he was part of he was part of the family so i think on top of having the withdrawal and having like health concerns and everything else I think I'm handling it okay um, my daughter is not handling it very well um, so I'm just trying to be there but I'm not sure if the withdrawals are I don't know what's my feelings and what is me being really sensitive but I just feel I just feel like life is so hard it's so hard um, and you know you just keep trucking along and and things happen and as things happen you just have to deal with them there's no good time to cut back on medication there's no good time to stop taking it life is always difficult and um, I'm just glad he's not suffering because they said it did look like cancer. It was a, it was a mass wrapped around his um, organs, and uh, he had to have been suffering um, as much as he's throwing up. It's never easy. You know, your animal is part of your family. They are. 
and it's hard to sorry for the crying it's been a whirlwind this week um it's just been a really hard few months i'm just trying to hold it together um thank you for letting me know about the food allergy testing um i made an appointment and i'm gonna get that done Hopefully that'll start clearing up my ears and I'll be able to take this trip because I really want to. Um, I really want to. So thank you for letting me know about... <sighs> thank you for letting me know about the food allergy because I haven't tried that avenue. I've tried seasonal allergies, but I haven't tried that avenue. So I'm going to try that and... Hopefully it starts to relieve the ear pressure and I can actually take a family trip and and start to feel physically okay again. Um, it has been the most difficult week ever. I mean, it's been a consistency of the veterinarian and hand feeding him and just making doctor's appointments and handling life stuff. I just uh, feel so suffocated right now. And then you start to think like, why does life have to be so hard? Um, It just, it is what it is, and um, you just have to figure out a way through it. I'm thankful that this did happen when I wasn't completely at my worst. Um, and I was able to go, and I was able to, to be there. But it's just been a really difficult day after and uh i already felt sad from the withdrawals and i already felt shaky and this just piles on another thing because when i would wake up with like oh some anxiety or some frustration He would be on my bed and I would pet him and it just calmed me it just he just knew and he would lay on me I'd be sitting on the couch and he would just lay on me and it was comforting Um, I guess you just have to take it minute by minute, hour by hour, and just breathe through it, because on top of the withdrawals, I have my help. My health stuff and then on top of that now I lost my my cat my buddy he was my buddy emotional support animal for all of us in this house like if my daughter would get in trouble when she was younger and she would cry and we stood up against the wall you know if we would make her stand on the wall or whatever till she would do what she was asked to do if she was crying he would be sitting by her and he wouldn't leave her if she was crying. Like if she would walk somewhere, he would follow her um, until she would stop crying. If she was in her room crying, he would meow until he could get near hers until she stopped crying. He just knew um, that she was sad. Like he, he knew what the crying meant. 
so just got to keep taking it one day at a time and hope nothing more piles on and I can keep healing from this and hopefully this um, allergist can help my ears so I can take this trip and not have to stay behind like I usually do. I've cried so much that I, I woke up so much last night and was thinking about him. And like, don't cry because then your eyes hurt and you feel like shit when you cry so much. But you can't help it. Like, I can't help it when I... Especially when I talk about it. Oh. But thank you guys so much for asking. And just, you know, about him and about my ears and treatments and how to sleep. And just everything that you guys do. Every advice you guys give me and... um every comment you give me I, I feel the love a lot and um, I just want to say thank you so much guys for being here and just I don't feel like my life is exciting but um but I appreciate you guys watching and seeing what unfolds so I'm going to leave it there and just try to get through today. My son has soccer, so I'm going to try to take him and let my husband just not, not do it today. He's having a really hard time, too. So, all right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat> Bye.